morning. It's day two of our camping trip. And I'm not feeling so good. I was bitten by mosquitoes all night. And my back is like... I can't even see my back anymore. It's all red. And... I'm hot and wearing like sweatpants and sweat and a sweatshirt in like 80 degree weather, but it's the only thing that covers me from head to toe. So, and even with this, I still get bitten. And of course, the person that slept next to me had no problem. But that's always the case. And now we're just waiting for breakfast to be cooked by this fire that lasted all night. Oh, it did it? I thought it did. Oh my god, look at my leg. It's so terrible. And I have it like in my thigh also. Like really high up though. And my arm is really bad also. <laughs> On a happier note, there's food. Guess what this is? It's called naan. It's okay, it's okay. It's cooked it's by my Turkish friend Ali. See, he's so professional. But he's I like making the fire and all. He's cooking more bread now. I wish I had three hands so like one could scratch and the other two could eat. But <laughs> it's just so badly. Who says marshmallows only have to be at night? I do in the morning. It's like... 100 degrees now. It was 80 before. It was like 100. You want some more miso? This is my marshmallow. You couldn't see it in the dark yesterday. But the fire is so small. Oh, I killed the fire! I killed the fire with the marshmallow! It really died. Seriously. <laughs> Do not blow it with the pan. It would just start up by itself? Yes. Really? Uh -huh. But uh, if you blow it with the pan, you're just going to get more and more ash out on everything. You just got to be patient. No, my marshmallow is cooling down. There's so many of these bugs flying around, it's annoying me. Oh, the fire started without me realizing. <laughs> that means marshmallow time. <laughs> Yay! You guys might say it's burned again because my friends always like to tell me that I eat too much burnt stuff. But it's on purpose, it's not by accident. It's so good! It's best when it's burnt. A little bit. Oh, I killed the fire again. Marshmallows are dangerous. Look at this. This random figure that was right beside our tents, our camping grounds, and we didn't notice. Well, most of us did not notice until now. So he was the one that ate all our food yesterday. And then there's a hole up there, actually. There he lives. Look, it's a butterfly, but it's blue. I've been trying my whole trip to get a get footage, a picture of this, because it's so pretty. I've never seen like an aqua color butterfly. I can't bring it. Oh, there's another one. There's so many cats on this island. It's like I wonder how they got here because they're afraid of water. They swam here. They get to eat a lot of fish though. That's true. 
I wish they would eat the bugs. Oh, really? Oh, this one is pregnant? This is a sad cat because its baby was eaten by a crow. This one is so loud. <laughs> if you listen closely, you hear all the, the bugs and birds. It's actually quite loud here. The point of noise pollution, actually. It's a low tide beach, so um, it's really shallow, the water, at first. Um, you have to go out really far to get into any, anywhere deep. And there's a lot of people here right now. Um, and they're all just looking down. And I'm guessing that they can see fish here, like we saw yesterday. Is the water cold? Oh no, it's not! It's so much better than yesterday! Look at all the seaweed! Wow! Oh, I like this temperature. This temperature is good. Yeah. Oh, it's really slippery. Look at all the seaweed just floating by. It's really hard to walk in here. And this is a cool color. Okay, now I've come quite far out into the ocean and you're beginning to see fish let me try to catch it for you I couldn't take because yesterday it was a very deep it wasn't very deep but it was quite deep oh look fish I couldn't take any pictures because you have to actually swim to be able to see the fish oh see it's like all the other bottom Oh, there's a lot of fish there. The thing is, once you start to approach them, they start to run away. Which is normal, but I wish they would just stay for a little while longer. <laughs> But yesterday there were these like really like sharp blue fish that I really wanted to show you guys but I couldn't because they were too far out and I don't have a waterproof camera.
Oh man, I wish I could have gotten that on camera for you. A bunch of these like zebra striped fish, like like maybe like 15 of them just came in a group and just passed by. They were so pretty. I couldn't even chase after them because these stones are impossible to run on. They're like so slippery and they hurt. <laughs> they scratch up your feet. Oh, there's one. Come over here. Come over here. I don't even know what I'm filming because the the sun is reflecting is like on my camera so I can't see what exactly I'm filming. But I'm hoping I'm pointing in the right direction. If not, you guys just have to believe what I say, that there is a zebra striped fish. I am so happy now. I found what I was looking for this whole time since I've been here, which is Gyunyu Senbe, the milk senbe. <sighs> I've been looking for it forever. I thought they didn't sell it on this island, and I'm so glad they did. I could buy some when I, you know, to go back with me. We are now at this onsen and it's open to the public and it's free. This is the foot bath and these are probably foot baths also. I don't know why it's this color though. Um, it may be the rocks though, you see? But the water is extremely hot. You can feel the steam. And look, people in their swimsuits going in. It's like 200 degrees! Oh my god, I can't even put my feet in here. It's so hot. This one is this one is a lot better. Um, it's not as hot as the other one. Or maybe it's because I went into the other one that this one is okay. Yeah, but um, yeah, it hurts because my feet are all scratched up. But the water is this color because there's iron. It's so pretty here. Yucky. I'll take this opportunity to introduce you to all my scars and mosquito bites. So it's all over my leg, <laughs> as you can see. Even on my ankles and the bottom of my feet. And it hurts when I put it in this water. But I like to believe that Onsen has healing powers, and Shikinejima is known as a healing island, so even if it hurts, I'll deal with it for as long as I can, but I really want to cry now. <laughs> Food! This is called skedon, which is the rice dish with sashimi over it, and it's maguro, which is tuna. This is chibiki. And this is medai. I don't know what kind of fish they are, but um, that's the names of it. And then this is the fish soup. Fish soup and rice. Medai. I think this is the beach where the picture on the poster was taken. The poster of Shikinejima that they were advertising. The water is really pretty. Look, it's Nijima! We're looking at this island that I'm on right now from up there. And you see that rock on the middle? That is the rock. The rock that I climbed. And that's the boat that we're going to be leaving on. <laughs> <laughs>